we are supposed to teach them, instruct them, train them, educate them, discipline them, teach them, show them, guide them, all those good things. And I, I, I try to work along with the teachers. When I talk with them, we try to find a common ground on how we could approach that. So we are refocusing our education system to get to making our, our children well-rounded citizens, respectful of the systems, respectful of the institutions, respectful of themselves, their teachers, their parents, and so on. Now, the other aspect, cultural development and sports, those are very important for us in the islands. And I think we, we are now trying to devise some new programs or new approaches as well to get the best out of our young people. <laughs> Please book to come home because Coach Amber Ford is going to be good. I am bigging it up or I am advertising it. And I am, when, I, when we get back, we're going to certainly make certain that we put together an efficient program. So that when you come, you know, you, you don't feel it is a waste of time. And there's going to be something different at Herbert's Beach. Yeah. You know Herbert's Beach? Yeah. That the ultimate cool down for cultural mm -hmm. Herbert's Beach. <laughs> There's going to be something different there. I, I can't tell you yet exactly what it is because I can't tell out every secret. <laughs> but you can take the word of the organizers that it's going to be good. And finally, where are we? <clears throat> Politically? Socially, we have we have work to be done, and I know that there are questions being asked about the Sicilian party and the unity construct. But let me let me say very clearly that we don't want to preempt anything, but the idea of mature, serious representatives of the people wanting to put together a team of representatives to provide transparent government for the people cannot be a bad thing. Cannot be a bad thing. I know some of us say, well, what happened to secession and independence from the East? But that does not evaporate. That does not evaporate. It doesn't change anything. But what the discussions on the unity concept is doing is that it is providing the people who will vote to elect representatives an opportunity to determine up front, up front, no, no Nicodemus Concept. It's not a Nicodemus concept. It's a, a transparent concept. To say, listen, well, if Mr. So and so, who is a member of Pam Williams, three of them from Pam Williams, two of them from PLP Williams, two of them from CCM Williams, whatever it is, you know that there is going to be a combination of those persons or people who you have elected up front. You don't have to worry. What's going to happen in the day of the elections? You know that. Once the results are tallied, you know exactly what will happen. If, on the contrary, there is a predominant six <coughs> members elected from the Labour Party and the Nevis Reformation Party together, where well, you know what you're going to get. So don't, you don't have to, you don't have to, 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 to be worrying and panicking. You know exactly what will happen. All you have to do is listen to the results. Six is greater than five. Well, well, then, uh, when, the, when, the, when the votes are shall I be counted then, right? The six would be greater. Whether the six are with the labor on their own, or labor plus the Nevis Information Party, you know what you will get. So let us not create difficulties for ourselves. 
we are preempting things. But the good thing is, because this thing has been discussed in the open, that you know exactly what is possible. It is not for the people to determine what they would like to see become not a possibility, but what they would like to see be a reality. That, that, that is what it is. It, there's, no, there's no magic. There's no, there's no reneging on promises. There's no nothing like that. It is an open, transparent, upfront presentation to the people. And I'm not shying away from it. I get cussed. Well, you did not join with anybody in 1993. Well, I made that very clear upfront as well. Up front, it was clear as crystal. Who didn't want to believe it? Believe it afterwards. Whether they accept it now or then or ever is of no moment. Is of no moment. Because see, nothing is worse. And let me say this. Because you have the same problem in England. Three mainland political parties. And each one believed and felt that it could be the government. Yeah? The day after elections, everybody wants to know whether liberal will join with conservative or liberal will join with labor. And labor begs with liberal because they thought they were akin to each other. Liberal join with conservative. Mm -hmm. And people in England are not so happy. They had, they, had, they had election yesterday for local council. And the liberal party getting wiped out. Nobody trusting them again. Crap. They're getting wiped out. The Conservative Party also getting there. I'm sure by the time the results are, are due today or by Sunday, they're going to be suffering serious backlash as well. I'm saying that to say this, that we there was no upfront discussion. It was a convenient arrangement. This unity arrangement is a transparent discussion, and when the people shall have voted, depending on how the numbers turn out, you know exactly what you will get. So I, I don't want to wait and we can work. I should work. That was it. And I, I, I'm saying this very passionately today. I might not be there. The people, people in my constituency might determine they don't vote for you. That is their choice. Or, I might not be able to run for some incapacity. You never know. I've asked them to let us sit with them and see if all the things which I, I have asked them to deal with and to which I have had no response positively or negatively, except when they say, some people say, well, silence gives consent. But I think this case here, silence tells me that there's no consent. So next week, so when the Prime Minister comes back from wherever he's gone, I've asked for a meeting, and my peers has, has told me that yes, he has agreed to the meeting, so we will again go over the same thing again to see how far we can get. So, that is where we are. I may not have told you everything, or I may not have told you all that you want to hear, but you have a chance to ask what you would like to hear. And God's willing, I can, I can explain to you anything which you want to explain. Thank you very much, everyone. Yeah.